Good morning, good morning. Hope you're having a great morning. <laughs> Very glad that you're here with me today. And we're actually going to be doing, yes, I'm already giggling because uh, it's turkey. Uh, we're going to talk turkey about making a, uh, a little animated uh, scratch uh, graphic uh, with our turkey and stuff. And we're going to draw it by hand. It's going to be the interesting part because we're going to learn about vectors a little bit too. So welcome, welcome. Let me introduce myself a little bit. My name is Alex Cooper. I teach the computer classes at the Columbia County Library in Evans, Georgia. And of course, we're on the Harlem Library, working on the stuff this morning. And then also I teach for the, the Grovetown Library as well. I'm very glad that you're here with me today. Of course, we're staying home and staying safe and everything. So we're doing all our classes virtual. So very glad that you're here today. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Very glad that you're here. And of course, I always start off class with please feel free to post any kind of questions that you have in the chat and everything. And the big question I always want to ask is how can I help? Okay. So welcome, welcome to class. And uh, this is kind of a fun topic today. Um, I'll talk about some of the other, as folks are coming into the class and everything, I'll talk about some of the other upcoming classes that we have uh, today too. So I'll disappear for a second. So this morning, of course, we're doing our scratch. Let's draw and animate a turkey. Gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> and uh, this afternoon at 2.30, we're going to be doing internet shopping and digital couponing. Tomorrow morning, we're going to be doing let's make a turkey feather catch game at 11 o'clock. And then tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be doing holiday gadget and gift ideas. Now, next week, we only have uh, three classes we're going to be doing eBay and Facebook Marketplace, Internet Buying and Selling. And on the 25th, we'll be doing uh, Let's Make a Turkey Feather Catch Game again. And then we'll be doing this class again. In the afternoon, Let's Draw and Animate a Turkey. <laughs> and of course, on the 26th is Thanksgiving, so we'll be cutting our, our classes a little short. Uh, just a little side note, if you do want some free eBooks and audiobooks, realize you can get those free through the library. All you need to do is download the Libby app. Uh, you can search when it says, excuse me, when it says uh, what library are you with, just say Greater Clarksville Regional Library System, and then choose Georgia Download Destination and enter your library card, and then you can download the audio in audiobooks and ebooks. On a little side note, our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside hold pickup is available. You can go to gchrl.org for details or call into the library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're tr having a subscribe drive. We're trying to see how many subscribers. If we can get 100 subscribers, then we'll get our own customized uh, YouTube address or just search YouTube for GCHRL videos and it'll pop right up. All right, so let's go ahead and jump back here. So who has used Scratch before? <laughs> I'll come back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to load our handout and our handout this morning. I'm just going to kind of use the the one we used the other day because mostly we're going to kind of freehand some of our drawings and stuff that we're going to do. So most of this handout will be about the turkey catch game. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Well, welcome, welcome. <laughs> All right, so let's do it together. So I've got the handout there so you can click it and download it, okay? And what we're going to do is... And let me get it open on my end. Mm 
<laughs> okay, it's loading. Hold on. So the big thing today is in the past I've had other classes that we do that we basically talk about uh, making you know the game we make an animation or something but we don't really focus on actually starting kind of from scratch to make our own so that's kind of our goal this morning well hello from the the AP computer science class hello hello <laughs> all right so let's go ahead so I'll cover the little bit of the basics here about Scratch, and then we'll kind of jump into it too. So we'll talk about what is Scratch, signing up is logging in. And the big thing today is you don't actually have to sign up uh, for Scratch if you don't want to, because everything that I'm going to cover today, actually you don't have to have a sign in, but I do recommend it. You do have to have an um, email address so that you can save your projects, okay? So we'll talk about saving our projects, do a quick program overview. We'll talk a little, I'll talk a little bit about our basic blocks and then we'll start creating our turkey, okay? We'll talk turkey, how about that? <laughs> so any questions before we get started? All right, so let's talk about what we can do with Scratch. So Scratch is a programming language, an online community where you can create your own interactive stories, games, and animations. Of course, you can share those, okay? A big thing is that any of those that are on the Scratch website, which we'll kind of talk about that at the end, you can actually click it, see the code inside, and you can actually remix it as well, okay? Make it your own. So it makes it kind of collaborative uh, with this. We we're kind of thinking about coding a little bit to begin with. So how much does Scratch cost? It doesn't cost anything, okay? Do I need a license? No, you don't need a license or anything like that. It's completely free. One thing that you could do is you can actually sell your, because it's an open uh, source language, you could actually sell your Scratch projects if you wanted to. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go into our site. So let's go to scratch.mit.edu. Uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the reason I was saying that was the wrong address for some reason. All right, so basically I'm going to have it so I can kind of flip back and forth, okay? So here's our main uh, page in Scratch. Now, mine's already logged in, okay? But if you do want to do that, that's a great idea because you can save your projects for later. And then down here, we'll talk about this at the end, kind of exploring other projects that folks are making. Any of these you can click on. It'll load right up. You can play the game with it or anything. But let's go ahead and let's click where it says create. And then our editor will <clears throat> excuse me. Our editor will pop up. And we'll have Scratch the Cat there waiting on us. Okay, so if you do want to sign up, that's great. If you don't, you don't have to for do anything we do today, but you can't save your projects. That's the only thing about it. Now, if you are, all you need to do is click up here where it says Untitled, delete what's there, and I think I'm gonna call mine uh, maybe Turkey, uh, like Turkey A and I, so Turkey Animation. And then we hit File, and then we hit Save. All right, so let's talk about our program overview a little bit here. So the big thing is we have our stage. So this is where we actually see our graphics. Um, also, this is where are we kind of you know, play a game or anything like that. This is where we see what's going on. And then our backdrop that's here 
is the, the graphic or whatever we choose for our background or backdrop. Number three are our sprites, which is this section. So when we actually draw our turkey, it'll actually appear right here. Right now we have Scratch the Cat. And then we have our code area, okay? Which they actually call the work area. That's this area right here, okay? A uh, big thing to know is each sprite and even the backdrop can have its own code, okay? And then we have our blocks, which will be on their left side. Now, the great thing about the blocks are, one, they're color co coordinated a little bit. So you can actually click the, uh, the um, excuse me, the categories that are here on the left side, but you can also scroll down. So if you're looking for something, you're not sure what it is, just keep scrolling up and down and you'll be able to find it, okay? Our blocks, the best part about those and how it makes this a little bit easier coding language to work with is because the blocks only fit together if the code can fit together, okay? So they kind of call it the, this the Lego uh, coding. <laughs> so we have our different categories, looks, sounds, events, control, okay? Sensing. We're going to do a little bit of animation, so we'll kind of get our our turkey to kind of dance around a little bit too. All right, so let's go ahead. Now I will go ahead and say this ahead of time. I don't draw the best turkey, <laughs> but our goal for the day is to kind of get used to making our own content. And of course, um, you can upload your own pictures and up own sounds and stuff like that too. So this class will be a little bit silly here. All right, so let's go ahead now. Usually, if we want to add a new sprite, we click here, and then where the little cat head is, we click it right there, and then it loads it. It loads us into the pre-made uh, library. Okay, to open any of these, you just click them, and if you want to see if there is an animation with different costumes, which we're going to make different costumes. If this was a different program, they may call that keyframes. So if you hover over any of these, it'll actually show if there's an animation or not. And that's basically what we're going to do. Okay. All right. So let's click the back button. So we want to make our own. Now you could actually upload a picture too. If you click right there where it says upload sprite, it'll pop up and then it'll actually show all the different kinds of graphics it supports, JPEG, uh, uh, GIF files, anything like that. But we want to draw our own. So let's click here and let's click here where it says paint. Okay. And it goes right to where it says costumes. Okay. Now we're going to try to draw a turkey. Okay. So here we go. Now with art, some of the best things to do is to go ahead and try to figure out your shapes. Okay. What kind of sh main shapes can you draw to create something, okay? So if we did actually load up a picture, let's say, of a turkey. So if we go ahead and we load this up. So we just have a whole bunch of pictures, a little graphic turkeys and stuff, okay? So this is kind of the one I had in mind of trying to recreate, of course. Of course, we could download this and upload it if we wanted to. But we actually want to learn about vectors and stuff as we do this today. So there's our little turkey. So that's kind of our goal. So look at your shapes. So we have a circle here. Okay. The body has its own circle. The head has a circle. The eyes have circles. The, the eyeballs, I guess you'd say, or the pupils are circles. So it's kind of like a triangle right here. We could make it um, a little half circle. It's got its little waddle, I believe it's called, that hangs off there. It's got its little feet. Okay, and then we have our feathers. Now our feathers are kind of uh, curved, so that's kind of like a circle right there, okay, with our lines sticking out there. So we're gonna learn about copy paste a little bit with this, so we're gonna kind of come up with something similar, but not as good looking, okay? <laughs> How about that? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Kind of, kind of think about the colors. It's like a little bit of a light brown here. Uh, of course, the feet are kind of orange or yellow, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and talk about some of our tools here. 
Uh, this is a big one here. Uh, if you want to, if you need to name the costume, so if you're ever uh, working with the code and you need it to be like uh, I don't know, turkey dance part, turkey doing something different, then you can give it a different name. If it, if that doesn't matter, then then uh, you don't have to worry about that. But you can just change the name here if you want to. Here's a big one that we're going to need is our undo and our redo because we're going to need undo a lot. I promise. We'll talk about some of these other sections over here. Here's our here's our copy. Here's our paste, which we're going to be using that with our tail. Okay. We also have our delete, and we won't use this today. But this is so if you want to flip, uh, this is a really neat um, thing to do. The flip horizontal. Uh, I've actually made extra animations uh, just with the basic graphics that come with Scratch. Uh, maybe maybe it's a character looking to the left. And then I'll I'll copy it and then make it flip to the right. And then if you play the animation, it looks like he's kind of looking left and right. And then if he's moving his arms one way, move it the other way, then he kind of do like a little dance or something. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead. We have our uh, this is our selection tool. A little bit when we want to select more than one little vector. Okay. So I actually encourage you that if you are up and load pictures, go ahead and make them vectors because it's a little bit easier to draw on them. The best thing about vectors is not only can, since we've already drawn it, we can actually go back and do editing it, um, editing it at certain points, okay, more than having to repaint it or something. Here's our brush size, which will be our the thickness. We also have our selection tool or to reshape. We have our paint tool if we want to, and we also have our erase tool. The important part about this is if you upload a graphic, you may need to erase. Um, the the edges here so it'll be transparent okay all right so I'm actually going to delete mr. sprite there the cat and let's go ahead and get started here so we have our let's go ahead and let's click on our circle and we want to change our fill so we actually want something that's kind of like a light brown so if we kind of drag this slider here Drag it kind of to almost to red a little bit. And if you drag here, see if we can get it, make it a little bit brown. If you want to flip back and forth from the picture, a little bit darker brown because that'll be his body. We'll make his feathers a little bit lighter. So there, that's your color right there. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get our circle. And we want to draw like a box and you'll see as we draw it makes the, our, our shape there you can do ovals I even thought about setting it up maybe using this this to make the feathers with but I wanted to make it a little bit different so let's see body about that big I think will be good now the big thing about this is you can resize the vector okay you can stretch it or anything like that. We want something that's just kind of a perfect circle. This also allows you to turn it, which we'll play around with that when we do our feathers. But if we want to move it, you kind of just get in the middle there and put it like just like that, okay? All right, so let's move it down a little bit. We kind of want his head to be kind of more in the middle. All right, and then when we click someplace else, it'll disappear. How do we reselect what we just did? Well, we go up to our selection tool, okay, and then draw a box. That will let you reselect um, the vector, okay? The thing about that too is it allows you to select groups, so you can change groups all at one time as well. Okay, so let's get another circle. And let's draw his head on there. I'm going to move it so it's kind of perfect on top. Okay. <laughs> it looks great already, right? All right, so let's change to white. So let's see here. There it is. So I'll drag it that way. There's white. Let's do his eyeballs, and we can zoom in here if we want to. So we'll drag a little bit here. 
<laughs> All right, now, the big thing about this is I want the eyeballs to be the same size, don't I? Okay, so if I click here, hold on, where'd my copy-paste go? Hold on, do I have to get out of that? Okay, I guess you have to get out of this drawing a circle to be able to do that. Now, if it unselects it, no problem. Just click it again. <laughs> hey, Jane, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay, so... We want to make a copy of this because it's the right size right now, okay? So basically, once I have it selected, I'm going to go up here, hit Copy, and then all I do is hit Paste, and then boom, it's a little bit offset. So then I grab it, and I'll kind of put it in the middle here, okay? Let's see if I can get it a little bit closer there. Okay, now we need to make the, the pupils black. All right, so let's do our circle. Now you could make this kind of goofy where they, they, they have it so the, the eyes are kind of going everywhere, kind of in the middle, pointing at us, but you could set it up so it's kind of in the middle of the eye, but these are kind of on the, the edges. I guess uh, I'm trying to say, I said the middle twice. So in the middle would be, you know, right about there. But we actually, what we want, I'm going to have to zoom in here. What we want is it to be kind of, they're mirroring each other in the middle. I guess that's the way to say that. All right, so let's do copy. And let's do paste. Let's drag that one in there. And now he's kind of looking a little bit ahead of time. Now, why work with vectors and not just draw this by hand using you know the paint part well the best part about that is and hopefully I've shown that you can actually go back click on it and then you could change the size of it anytime okay alright so let's go down here <laughs> now we have a weird looking snowman <laughs> with no face okay so let's go ahead and let's kinda of make this is a little bit of a, of a um, um, an arrow I guess you'd say like an arrowhead kind of shape, a cone. So let's go ahead and make that color, choose that color. Let's see, it's going to be green, kind of a yellow, a little more of a golden yellow. All right, so now. Now one thing that's important is if we want to make it a quick fill to be able to fill in our, I guess our beak easily, you need to make sure that you close off the shape as well, okay? Now some programs, let's see, um, I'm trying to remember this one, it, one thing if you work with any other vector programs, you can go into making it more specific about what to edit or change but mostly we're just kind of sticking with the easy here I think his eyes are too small aren't they yeah I probably should make the eyes bigger okay I think I'll make my eyes a little bigger <laughs> three click and all we gotta do is drag About the same size. <laughs> we'll see. We'll play around with it. Maybe make it look a little look. Make it. Ugh. Maybe make it look a little better. All right. So let's go ahead and let's do our beak. And I have to re 
choose my color. Hold on. All right, so let's start about here, I think. Get it to point off just a little bit there. <laughs> now, here's the important part. To do an easy fill, we need to go and make sure it locks. Do you see how that locks together at the end? So when I let go, now if I get the bucket tool, and I actually want a yellow beak, or golden, golden-esque, I guess. Yeah. So now I have the paint tool, and because I've actually closed this, do you see? It's choosing all the shapes that have been closed. Click there, and then boom, it's starting to look like something now, isn't it? All right, now let's go ahead and we're going to do the waddle just a little bit. We're just going to do a little bit of a red area there. We're not going to use our shaper this time. Kind of go to red, kind of choose something a little bit more of a darker red. Let's see. All right, and we'll just kind of put it just a little bit, and it's kind of like a little bit of a circle here, and it kind of comes hangs down a little bit, kind of like that, okay? All right, now, let's look out and see if our dimensions look kind of proper. Yeah, making the eyes a little bit bigger helped, okay? Actually, the head looks a little tie, doesn't it? Okay. That or make his body a little bigger. Mm, I can make his body a little bigger. <laughs> okay. Looks a little bit less of a snowman now. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and let's do our feet. Now, this is mostly going to be kind of a silly freehand here. So, but the main thing is we want to make sure that we we um, close the vector, okay? And also we'll talk about putting our layers on here in a little bit too. And when we animate him, we're going to move our feet around <laughs> to make him look like he's dancing a little bit, okay? <laughs> Back and forth on the screen. Yes, this is a silly project today, okay? All right, so right about here, I'm going to draw his little feet come out. Okay. And then just kind of have it pointed. Three points is kind of what I'm going for. All right. Now here's the important part. When I go back up here, I'm not done. I need to now draw one line that connects the two, okay? So this is now a completely closed uh, vector, okay? And what that means is, it's kind, of, it's, it's kind of sticking out the side there. Let's see if we can move it over. Whoop, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on, let me undo, undo. <laughs> Let's select this. Let's drag it a little bit more into it a little bit, and I, I'll push that to the back a little bit later. Anyway, so it looks a little bit less of a, he's sticking his foot out and he's actually standing on the, the foot there. <laughs> okay, so you need to make sure you close it off so you can easily fill in the color, which is what we're gonna do in just a second. So if I choose my color, and say I want it to be kind of a orange, See if I can get that tone. Mm. Let's see, orange, orange, no, no. Yellow would be actually easier, but uh, our picture there, his feet are orange. Eh. Doesn't really look orange to me. Let's see. Let's 
wheel. If I put this in the middle and then when we go back and forth. Nope, I'm still not really seeing much of an orange going on here. All right, so work on finding the orange, like a dark orange. Eh, no. Eh. All right, let's see. Okay, I haven't really found the color that I like yet. Will? Let's see. Uh, no, 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 no. Was it over this way? No. Okay, I don't think it's that great, but I think I could do better, but we'll play with that for right now. Leave that there for right now. All right, so the big thing is, okay, that does look a little bit more orange. This looks a little different on my screen. Okay, so because we close the vector, again, once you've closed the vector with the paint bucket, you can hover over the different areas and then just click and then boom, there it is right there. Now. We're actually going to, let's go back and let's select the leg, okay? And I may not want to talk about that yet. Let's not talk about that, that yet, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and let's draw our other leg. We're actually gonna hide this, this part behind the body a little bit later, okay? So let's go ahead and draw our silly leg. Now you go, okay, well, I've already chosen um, the other one we could we could actually copy but I don't think let's do that let's go ahead and just make it kind of free by hand again all right so have the leg go out like that <laughs> it's a silly turkey leg Maybe his leg looks too thick. Maybe that's what it is. It needs to be a little thinner or something. That looks like, like a duck foot now, doesn't it? Okay, make sure you close it. Okay. Then, then choose our bucket. And it's already the same color. Now, if you do have a color that you want to match, you can click here. And then click the um, eyedropper. And anywhere that you hover you can actually make sure it's that color, okay? So if I click on the leg, boom, it changes it. And then when I go here, there you go. So the color will match, okay? All right, so let's zoom out and look at our turkey. <laughs> I think our body is huge compared to uh, our original turkey there. Let's make our body a little bit smaller maybe. All right, so I'm doing selection. I click the circle, and then we'll make his body a little bit smaller. Let's see. The ratio doesn't look right still, but anyway. Okay, and then let's move our feet up. <laughs> All right, so I've got the, I'm having a leg issue. I guess you could say. All right, so let's go ahead, and because this is a vector, we can actually change it on the fly, okay? So let's click here where it says reshape. So we've selected it, we hit reshape, and then as you see, we can very easily just change the size of something. We can move something around on our points, okay? Now, like I said, some more advanced, uh, and I'll, I'll kind of point out there's a free... 
there's a free one um, out there that people use a lot for, for vector editing. All right, so we've got our, that, that leg still looks terrible. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to make it shorter. There you go. I'll drag it this way. A little bit more stubby, I guess. All right, how about that? Is that better? It still looks like a duck leg. <laughs> anyway, okay. I knew this was going to be a silly class. Okay, so we're trying to trying to draw this right here, right? Okay. Oh, it looks it looks perfect, doesn't it? it? Looks just like the drawing. Okay, so let's go ahead and start working on our feathers. All right. So the um, the big thing about the feathers is. What I'm going to do is, because I want it to be curved a little bit like this, I'm actually going to do circles. So we're actually going to be drawing a line here, cut this way, cut back that way, cut back, and then we'll actually put a circle on it to actually make it have a little bit of an edge of the roundness to it, okay? All right, so, so <laughs> let's go right ahead. So let's choose here, and basically what we're going to do is we're only going to really have to do this once, okay? So let's zoom out and let's see our proportions here. So the uh, this part is about as wide as his head, it looks like. So that'll actually do pretty good. So let's start here. Let me zoom in. We have our brush stroke at four. Let's draw about there. Let's see. And then let's keep going. Just kind of a square it off. And then draw back down. And don't make it a box. Try to make it a little bit at an angle so it has a little bit of life about it. Okay. But remember, you need to close it too. So make sure that you close it and connect those together. So now it is a closed um, part. So when we do the, the fill, it can, it'll fill it, okay? Okay, now let's get our circle. And we're basically just going to draw a circle, okay? And we're gonna kinda have it halfway in there and halfway out and what we're going to do is in a minute we're actually going to change so it doesn't look like a circle because we'll put that behind the other shape okay so let's go and do our fill and of course we want it to be a little bit lighter brown okay so let's choose our fill It'll be a little lighter. See, that looks more orange. Orange. All right. No. Let's see. Well, I guess I could do the dropper and then make it a little lighter. Yeah, that might be easier. Now we can actually do, let's see, which one do I want? Here. You can do, I think that's a good idea. Let's do the fill where it's a gradient. This one's a little bit different gradient, I think. All right, so I'm going to have to choose. So if I choose the brown and then Okay, so what would that look like? Okay, I kind of like that. So this one I made it, this just doesn't really look like a light brown to me on my screen at least. So we kind of have our darker brown, which is the body. Then we have our lighter brown and the gradient, the way it's set up right now, at least I'm gonna go with what I have. There it is right there. So it kind of gives a dark and then it gets out here and it's lighter. So I'm gonna click that, okay. 
Now the big thing is, I have to go back to the selection tool again, and I'm actually going to choose the circle, and I'm going to talk about putting things in the front and back. Now this also goes if you do anything in PowerPoint as well. So if I take this and I actually send it backwards one step, it actually should kind of show up uh, to be like that, okay? So now it's a feather. It has a little bit of a tip on it too. And if I, whoop, don't want to do that. If I take, whoop, sorry, take it and push that just a little bit more. There we go. Hide it a little bit there. <laughs> it's not hiding it. Let's see. Okay, so there you go right there. So it kind of comes up this way. We have a little bit of a roundness to it. I think I'm going to make it because I want it to stick out a little bit more than that. Eh. Okay. And it won't let me... Okay, perfect. Okay, so I can do that. So if I pull it up there, okay, so let's talk about what I just did. I'll do undo. All right, so we sent the circle to the back, okay? Now we're using our reshaping tool. And what I did was I clicked here. I think I did a double click. And then I dragged the middle here and it kind of curves it a little bit too, okay? And then when I click away, now it looks a little bit more like a feather, okay? Uh, can I do... Let's see. I think that, yeah, that won't work. All right, so never mind on that. I guess we need to do another shape and then uh, tuck it to make it look a little bit more like a feather. I guess we could do that. Hmm. Could I anytime do a line in the middle here? Let's see. Yeah, looks well, pretty good. So now we have a little bit of a ridge here. So all I did was I drew a line from here to here, okay? And then I went to the reshape, double clicked in the middle, and then bowed it a little bit there. Okay, now, since we have one feather going on, <laughs> our feet look terrible. We may work on that a little more later. We'll see. Looks like duck feet. Okay, so we basically have, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, I'd like to do a little bit more of the curve, but I think, I think that'll do well for us for now. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to select uh, the circle, and we need to select... Uh, the rectangle box that we've kind of shaped into our feather and then we're going to copy copy paste copy paste copy paste all the way around so we only have to create it once okay so how do we select more than one shape at a time we'll we use the selection tool we're going to draw a box now believe it or not you only need to draw a box to there okay to make sure it gets this too and then it'll have all of that selected okay now let's go up here and do our copy and then click paste and then get right in the middle here and then drag it over okay now that doesn't quite fit does it so we actually need to go here and to turn it a little bit okay we want it to be kind of close together we want it to be close together but not the same now, big thing is if it goes this way, we can always, um, if it sticks too much, it doesn't match up exactly with the turkey body, it's okay. Because we can actually, um, we're going to push it to the back as well later, okay? All right, so let's do copy again, and then paste. Let's drag it on over there, and let's turn it a little bit. 
trying to get it kind of unified so when it when it uh, finishes it looks like kind of like a fan you know it's been fanned out a little bit all right copy paste turn a little bit Oh, make sure that we're focusing on the body. And not we're not gluing anything to the head. <laughs> Copy paste. Let's see. Trying to focus on connecting it to the body. Here we go. Okay. This one I think actually does need to go in a little bit. Um, I'm easy for me to do undo a bunch. Yeah. There we go. Whoop. Yeah. There you go. So pull him in a little bit. All right. Copy paste. All right, so how's everybody doing out there? How's it going? All right. We'll do copy paste. We're going to turn it a little bit more again. All right, copy paste. Keep going, keep going. A little bit further down, copy paste. Is this what you thought this would be like? <laughs> Copy pasting feathers around. Surely you did. When I signed up for a turkey class, that's what I thought we'd be doing. Copy pasting feathers. All right, so let's keep going. And if you do you lose your selection like I just did, it might be easier to go right ahead and then do undo. Yes, I am copying it again, mainly so that I don't have to, to turn it. I could just keep, keep hitting paste, but I want it to match up to a point. Okay, I'll do one more. Mm. So 
it's a little uneven here, but I think it'll be okay. All right, now, the big thing is, of course, our feathers are over his head. So we actually want to push our feathers to the back, okay? Now, the easiest way to do this is we're going to click the his head, we're going to click the body, and then, so let's start with the body. So do the selection tool, click the body, and then we will say front, okay? That'll be all the way in the front. You don't have to keep clicking the forward button. Front, and then, oh no! <laughs> Okay, well, how am I going to select the, the back now? Ooh, I guess I'd have to, okay. Uh, give me a second. Let me see, because if I do this, that'll select that too, and I don't want that. Okay, we can do this in groups. So let's do selection. And as long as I get the circle and the, I guess, the feather, it'll select that. And then we'll say send that to the back. Boop. And then we'll select this group here. Make sure you're not selecting the head. Send it to back. And then let's do, let's see, this group. And send it to back. Oh, we got to select our body and make it go backwards. Not, not all the way back, but just a few steps. There we go. Now our face should appear. Yay! There we go. So there's our turkey. Ah. His feet still look pretty funny though. <laughs> Maybe that's the charm of our turkey. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Now our goal is we're going to make you dance and do a little gobble, gobble, gobble and say Happy Thanksgiving, okay? That's kind of our goal. So what do you think of your turkey? Did we do okay? Is there some slight modifications or changes you can make? I think we can work on the feet a bit, but, but uh, I think it looks silly enough. I mean, we are drawing a turkey. But after doing the ridges here, uh, giving it that gradient, uh, there, I think the turkey feathers look pretty good. Uh, so let's kind of keep moving on here. And again, I could go back in here and add like a gradient to it. So like this kind of has a little bit of a gradient. Um, so it has like an outside uh, area there with the color. But anyway, so let's keep going. So what we want to do next is let's talk about what we want our turkey to do. So let's go ahead and let's make him uh, do a gobble noise. Now, I'm going to try this. I haven't done this uh, while recording at the same time. But let's go and let's click where it says sounds. Okay. Uh, because it's a basic sound, it actually comes with the sound. Jane, you like the turkey? Good. <laughs> Good. He's a goofy turkey. So it comes with the sound. Now I'm going to try this. If this doesn't work out, I may have to, to um, I'm not sure what I'll do. But trying to do this because I know I have the microphone going in the computer. We're going to see if it, this will work out. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to try to do my own gobble, 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 gobble sound, okay? So I'm going to go down here. You can upload. If you click there and click the upload sounds, you can actually go in and then it'll actually support uh, WAV files and it supports MP3s as well, okay? So you can upload your own sounds and your own kind of music too. So I'm going to go ahead and let's click where it says record. We will see if this works. Aha, good. I can choose which microphone. Let's see. Okay, I think that should do it. All right, here we go. All right, now it allows me to actually clip it. Let's hear what that sounds like. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> I'm 
can drag it in a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, so if you get it to the way that you want it to be, <laughs> as terrible as it is, let's go and hit save. Now we have our sound. <laughs> and we can actually mess around with it. We want it to be faster, slower. Uh, any kind of sound to make it slower. Maybe you want to be a giant turkey. Gobble, 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 gobble. Louder, softer, reverse it. Anything like that. Or you make it a robot turkey. So robot turkey. Anytime, and then you can do undo. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll do our first little part and then we'll come back and make our, our turkey dance a little bit, okay? So let's go back to our code. And mostly what we're gonna do is just our basic basic here, kind of a hello world. Let's do control, excuse me, events, and then drag the block over here that says when the green flag is clicked, okay? We're going to have him um, play us the sound. Let's go to sounds and it'll say play sound. Now the big thing with this is if you choose play sound until done, that means we'll hear gobble 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 and then he'll say happy Thanksgiving. Okay, so you can choose that if you want to or whichever. Uh, I the name the the sound is just called recording one right now so I'm gonna go back here I'm gonna change it so it'll make a little more sense it's gobble two G B's I don't know all right so change it to gobble <laughs> so when we go to our code we'll actually see the gobble on there so let's see Happy Thanksgiving. Okay, let's do that. So let's choose the play gobble until done. And then we actually have him say Happy Thanksgiving. Okay, so let's do looks. And where it says say hello for two seconds. And let's click there and let's change from it saying hello to Happy Thanksgiving. All right, so let's make it bigger and let's hit the green flag. Okay, here we go. <laughs> there you go. Now we're going to make a little bit more interactivity uh, going on here. And <laughs> we may make him do like a little dance just by creating a little bit of animation okay so did you like that <laughs> happy thanksgiving okay so let's go back to our costumes and we're going to actually duplicate this and we're going to make him do like a little dance okay uh let's see the animation wouldn't be that smooth, but we could make his eyes kind of move around a little bit if we wanted to. But let's look at his feet to kind of dance around a little bit too, okay? All right, so what we want to do is we want to duplicate. So we have our base turkey, okay? We want to duplicate, so let's right click on where it says costume one, say duplicate, okay? Now we have two of the exact same. And this is this is kind of an easy trick right here. We're actually just gonna mirror make it mirror, and then he'll already look like he's dancing. Okay. So go to the costume two and let's click here where it says flip horizontal. Okay. Now look, already it looks like he we have animation going on. It looks like kind of like he's walking, doesn't he? just by making two uh, slides 
that make it flip. So let's go back to our code. Now, what we want to do is we want him to say <laughs> gobble, gobble, gobble three times, happy Thanksgiving, and then we want him to do like a little dance, okay? Uh, we probably want him to do change his, 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 uh, the costume. Uh, let's see, so it'll be like da, 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 da. So we want him to do it um, six times, okay? So let's go ahead and let's add a repeat. So let's go to control and let's drag here one that says repeat. Okay. And it may be funnier him say happy Thanksgiving and then while he's dancing he does gobble gobble gobble. Uh, let's see. So we may have to change this around a little bit. Let's do this and then we'll do that. Okay. So we're going to go to looks. And all we want him to do is we want him to switch to next costume. Okay. So drag the next costume over here. Now you can you can come up with a whole list here of it saying costume one, costume two, controlling it. Which we may do that in a minute, but right now let's just do switch costume. Alright, and I want him to do it six times. Alright, so let's try it out. Did it, uh -oh, did it too fast, didn't he? <laughs> All right, so we actually need to add a pause in between. So let's go to Control, and you'll see one says, wait one second, okay? Now, it means that it repeated this six times, but it got to do it so quickly, as quickly as the computer could do it, because we didn't give it a pause. So let's drag the wait, and a second will be too much. It'll make him look like he's just like, uh, 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 uh. We want to make him a little fast, but not too fast. So uh, uh, whole numbers are, of course, seconds. But 0.5 would be half a second. So let's put a 0.5 in there. Okay. Now let's go and try it. <laughs> there you go right there okay all right so did you get it did you get him to do a little dance so it can be just that easy now I actually want to rearrange this I actually want him to say happy Thanksgiving first and then I don't want him to say gobble gobble until done. I actually want him to say just gobble gobble, start the gobble gobble, and then the dancing. Okay? So it basically should be that we hear the gobble gobble while he's dancing. All right? So I move the say, happy Thanksgiving, sound the gobble, repeat. Here we go. Next costume. Wait 0.5 seconds. Happy Thanksgiving. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. So now that we've covered that part, let's go ahead and let's make his uh, feet, it'll make his eyes move around. I think that'll be kind of funny. Okay. So let's go back to costumes and then we'll move his feet around too. So again, we're going to do the same thing. I'm actually going to go to my original and duplicate that. So let's right click and we'll say duplicate. <laughs> Mac, you like the, the turkey dancing? That's awesome. It's a turkey dance party. <laughs> All right, so now that we duplicated, okay, and the 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 turn is on is the now the the second costume, but I'm going to move it up here, okay. So one two, so we still kind of have our turkey strut back and forth. 
Okay. Now our third one we're going to do is we're going to move our, our eyes around a little bit, and then we'll do our feet moving around a little bit too. Okay. So remember, you can rename in these things anything that you want. Uh, yeah. So okay. So so here we go. All right. So if I zoom in. Okay, so we have uh, one will be our base, and then why don't we call this, uh, let me see, so if I do, okay, so we'll do three steps of animation here. So we'll call this eye roll one, okay? Okay, so let's zoom in here. And we're just gonna kind of have the eyes go up and then we'll make them go the other way and then down and then back to the beginning okay so just three easy steps of animation here all right so and again this is our base so that we'll actually show the costume one first we'll show the eye roll one which we're going to move the eyes up then we'll move the eyes pointing out and then we'll move the eyes down and then we'll go back to costume one and we're going to animate that okay so let's go ahead and let's get our eye and I have to zoom in a little more let's move our eye up okay choose the other eye move the eye up <laughs> all right right click duplicate and it should yay it did it called it eye roll two and then click our eye and put our eye over here. It's going to be goofy eye because he's going to be. All right. And then right click duplicate and then do our eye pointing down. All right. So here's our eyes kind of goofy eyes going everywhere. So we should have boom, 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 okay? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and he's back in the middle. Okay, so let's go ahead and now that we've done that, let's go to our code and let's animate that. Now, instead of it just saying next costume, we actually want it to control where it's going to go, don't we? Okay. So we need it to do uh, go to looks, and instead of it saying next costume, where is it? We actually want it to be very specific. So our first part, we want it to go from costume one. Okay. Wait uh, 0.5 seconds, so half a second, and then switch to costume two. Okay, so it should do that six times. So we should have looks like the same animation as before. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh oh, I've forgotten a step. We need to add one more uh, half a second because that's why it looks like he's he's like dance, doing like a jerk or something. We don't want him to do that. We want him to be a smooth animation from one to the next. So we have to add another one. A big thing is anytime you're doing a loop, realize what's it going to be like when it goes back up to the top. All right, here we go. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> All right, so we might need to make him do the sound again. We will see. All right, so next, let's add another repeat. And we're going to do our eye roll. Uh, let's do our eye roll uh, maybe three times. I think that would be good. I think three times would be good. Okay, so let's go to our looks. And let's choose switch to costume. And the big thing is we always want it to be to go to the original. Okay, so in our loop, we want it to keep going back to the original and then give it 
a weight to 0.5 okay and then switch costumes to the eye roll one okay and then wait half a second and then where's our switch costumes I roll two all right and then switch costumes and then do 0 0.5 and then I roll three okay so here's our base oh we need to add one at the end as well don't we absolutely all right so do 0 0.5 so here we are it's going to do the first little dance okay and then it's going to do our other dance with our eye dance i guess you could say uh, 0 0.5 it's only going to do this three times so let's check it out and look at it here we go happy thanksgiving and then we have this eye dance thing going on <laughs> Ah, did you notice something? After it did the three, his eyes didn't go back to the original. Let's see. Now, why was that? Okay, so we did one, two. Okay, so a big one is you may actually want to have add. Let's see. So, da, 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 da. let's see. Oh, so he should be. Okay, so we should probably put this one, the costume one, at the end. Okay, because up here he should already have his eyes uh, normally set. Okay, so let's grab, put that at the end. So the big thing is when he finishes at the end, I want his eyes to be looking like he did at the beginning. Okay, all right, so let's do it again. <laughs> all right perfect so now his eyes are back the way they were originally all right now let's go and let's do some foot animation some dancing <laughs> now remember we always want the costume one to be our base because when we do some of the other stuff that we're going to do in just a second like clicking on him and stuff We'll actually make it so that um, he'll actually have different modes, okay? All right, so we have our first one here. We always want this to be our base, so let's go ahead, let's duplicate that. And it's gonna call it costume three, but I'm gonna call it dance one, okay? All right, so let's go to his feet. And we're going to, we can do it several ways. Remember we can do the box draw or we can just click because it's just his foot that we want. All right, so if I pull his foot in and then it'll be like in and out, in and out, that'll look kind of like a dance. And I think this one, we only really need two things of animation, okay? I'm trying to think about, mm, all right, so pull his foot in a little bit, oh, hang on. Let's see, so what can make him look like he's dancing the best here? Hmm. Okay, so if you move it in a little bit, all right, and I want that to go to the back. So what is that like? Mm. 
And we need to make it turn a little bit too. <laughs> this is when I wish I had a better foot graphic, but whatever. We can move the toe around, maybe moving the toe around a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if that looks any better. <laughs> okay, maybe that looks a little better. So it looks kind of like a web foot, doesn't it? Like a duck foot. Okay, my idea is we're going to give him some motion. So it's going to make him look kind of like he's dancing to the left and right. Okay. Okay, so let's move this foot. And move it in a little bit too. And all right, so let's see what that looks like. Okay, that looks more like a little springboard. Okay, so I don't want to do that. I want to move it over here. All right, let's see. <laughs> There we go. There's kind of like a little dance. All right, what y'all think? Okay, so let's duplicate that. And it should call it dance two. Hmm, you just have to kind of think about what you want him to be doing. And if I pulled his head down a little bit, and then he stuck his head out while he's kind of doing his head. That would be pretty funny. All right, so let's move his head down a little bit. And I want to select the whole area. So let's see if I can do that. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's see. Nope, that's not what I want either. Okay, hold on. I want to select more than one. Do I do shift? Yeah, there you go. Okay, so if I'm trying to select more than one thing at a time, just hold down shift on the keyboard and keep clicking. And we'll drag his head down a little bit. So now not only do we have his feet moving around, we kind of have his neck bobbing up and down too. Okay. All right, let's move our feet just in a different spot, just so it looks a little bit more like he's moving around some. Let's see. That <laughs> looks like he's jumping, not really dancing. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So, da, 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 da. So, if we kind of do like a, a, a combination of those three, it will look like a little dance. Okay, so let's go back to our code. All right, so we've got our turkey here. We want it to be on the first frame, so let's go ahead and click that so we know that what the first frame looks like. So when you when he does this, it should go back, of course, to the original. Now, my goal is when we click our turkey, it'll actually do like a little dance, moving to the right, moving to the left, and then maybe doing his head a little bit. I think that would be pretty funny. So let's go ahead and let's do, we'll get him, we'll get some music playing too. All right, so let's do events when the sprite is clicked. Okay. <laughs> um, when the sprite is clicked, what we want him to do is we actually want him to move to the right. Okay. So I want him to move here. And then I want him to move all the way back over here. And then I want him to go back to originally where he was. Okay. So it looks like he's doing like a little dance. Going so there. 
over there and there and back okay all right so let's go ahead let's go into our motion and I want him to uh, we are on this looking at our axes so this is important to look at because the uh, let me pull that up real quick our um, axes so y is vertical and x is horizontal okay y is vertical x is horizontal if you do minus numbers that puts it over here on the left side with x if you do minus numbers it puts it down here in this area and uh, 1 180 is the lowest you can go there on the that side okay all right so let's get him to move Let's see. Oh, I want, let's do a glide. I think that would be best. Okay, so right now he is, we'll put him kind of in the middle here. He is at 22 minus 35. So 22 minus 35, and we actually want him to start there. So I want to make sure that he is always there. Okay. So way I can do that is if I click the green flag, go to, there it is. So that means any other crazy animation that I tell it to do here in a minute, when I click the green flag, it'll always go back to the start right where he is now, okay? So that's important to have that. Okay, so now let's deal with our glide. Okay, so I'm going to drag him to here. Okay, the easiest way to deal with the coordinates is basically this. So as I move the sprite around on the screen, you'll see the coordinates change. You don't have to, you know, become a coordinate expert. You just need to know is when I move my, my sprite around, it'll automatically change here as well. So if I move my carrot to where I want him to go, okay, so we had him start at what, 36? I want him to look like he's dancing, so I, do, I don't, I want to keep it kind of on the same plane, I guess you could say. Right about there would be good. Yeah, that's fine. And then it changes it right there. So if I say glide to Okay, and then uh, that'll take a, we'll give him, let's see, so we're going to have him animated, be animated as well. So that may take two seconds or so, and we actually want him to look, and we'll have our repeat on is our big thing here. So we'll have our repeat, make him glide that way. Now, I might have to do that, those all at the same time, so I may have to actually set up a separate when clicked. That would probably be best. All right, so we're going to have him glide that way, and then we want him to glide back. We'll have him wait a second in the middle. I think that would be funny, and then kind of go, go over to the other edge. So then have him glide back in our middle section. Yeah, if you click on this, the, the problem with this is, and I'll tell you, once you set up a when clicked, that means that it, if I do click on my little sprite, it does activate it. So you may want to do, uh, turn that off by disconnecting it, okay? So two seconds to glide that way, and then we want it to glide back. There you go, glide back, take two seconds to glide back, and then we want him to, let's see, I'm going to give it half a second here, and then we want him to glide over here, okay? There's our glide glide to here we go and then 
we want him to glide back to our starting position which is so I'll type those I'll just type those in 22 and minus 36 okay all right so then glide back to the original position okay we'll give it two seconds each of those all right so let's see what that looks like so he's gonna glide over there he's gonna glide back stop for a second and then glide over there and then stop there okay all right now what we wanted him to do is we want him to be animated <laughs> we want him to dance don't we while he does this so let's go to our switch costumes so we want him to be kind of switching back and forth so let's kind of get the feel of what we want we have our dance one dance two so we can go costume one, costume, dance one, dance two. Let's just see what that looks like, I guess. So costume one. And we got to give it a, a point, whatever you want it to be. Now, if you want more than half a second, then you do point two. Okay. Let's switch costumes to dance one. Wait, 0.5, and then looks, switch costume, to dance two, and then because it's a, it's a um, circle here, repeat, we'll do 0.5. Now I'm not really sure right now how long it's gonna take him to go over there and come back and everything. But I will, we're going to choose some music here in a minute, too. So let's go ahead and we'll pretend there's music playing. <laughs> but let's go ahead and let's click our turkey. So do, 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 do. <laughs> Y'all like that? Okay, so the 10 is way too much. And he is not resetting back to the original, now, is he? Okay, no, he's not. So we may want to add, do this on the end, similar to what we did before. All right, so add that on the end. And put that one on the end there. Okay, so we'll know he'll finish. So the goal is, you know, you, you hit reset and everything. The goal is it goes here. Now you could actually have it so anytime you hit the green flag, it shows the first costume, but I don't think we'll have to have that uh, because all our animations will actually finish up. Now that was too many, so let's do, how about we do six, okay? All right, so if I click on him, there he goes. <laughs> and then we'll have him say happy turkey day at the end how about that all right so Let's go ahead and let's uh, add some music to it. So we actually want to import a sound on our turkey. So let's click our sound here. And loops is usually the easiest place to go. I think maybe like a, a country thing would be kind of funny. Let's see. <laughs> Boom. 
seems so silly. Hmm. Okay, let's do the trap one. That seems sillier. Oh, with the gobble. There you go. We'll do that with the gobble at the same time. Oh, gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Okay. That sounds good. <laughs> okay, so when we click the sprite, <laughs> we want our music to start, don't we? Okay. So let's go to sounds. Let's do play sound. Don't do until done. Do play sound trap beat and then we'll do play sound uh let me see we might need to do the might need to do a little repeat on the gobble gobble eh, well that might mess us up okay with our dancing okay it's probably best if we go ahead and make a our own new when this is clicked for our sounds just so when everything happens at the same time there won't be any conflict with having to wait around for something else to happen. Okay, so I need to make the gobble gobble thing happen at least twice. Alright, so gobble gobble. And then, uh, let me see, we'll have to work on our timing here. Maybe wait a second, and then the gobble one more time. We'll see. Okay. All right, so let's see what we got going on. Here we go. Well, I don't hear the gobble. Thanks. Did y'all hear the gobble? I didn't hear the gobble. Let's see. So that started. I didn't hear the gobble gobble at all. Okay, hold on. It's just not as loud as the music, I guess. Okay, I know what we can do. We can actually go into here. We can actually turn our gobble or our music down a little bit. So let's do our music. And let's go in here and where is, oh, 
Is it in the code? Hang on one second, let me see. There it is, change volume, okay. Well that's, clear sound effect, change pitch. Let's see, set volume. Yeah, but that would affect my gobble thing too. Maybe gobble needs just to be louder, okay. So now the gobbler is now louder. <laughs> so we might be able to hear it over our music. Maybe we need to turn our this down a little bit. So we should be able to hear our gobbler over that. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's try it out. We're getting close to the end of class here. So let's go ahead and this is our, our final practice, I guess, here. Here we go. <laughs> Goofy eyes. And then back to normal and then Okay, we need the we need the dance to play one more time. So I guess I need so I'll add our trap to our repeat. <laughs> oh no 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 that could mess it up. Let's see. Um I guess I need a own, my own separate repeat. Okay, so that needs a repeat. Oh man. Okay, so let's see. So I need that to play twice. But I want that to play at the same time. Okay, so it might be easier to add another when the sprite is clicked. There you go. Oh, well, we need to make it so the sound plays until done and then repeats. All right, here we go. All right, so here's our final project. I'm going to make sure I do save. Okay. Full screen. Here we go. All right, and then if we click him. There you go. There you go. All right, so we've come to the end of class. Did you enjoy that? I think I did. <laughs> I did enjoy that. Uh, that's pretty fun, isn't it? So just the main goals of this class was to learn about the vectors, creating your own animation, creating your own sound. So we don't have to just use the pre-made stuff and, uh, you know, getting creative and getting your mind kind of flowing too. And of course, creating our uh, animations and stuff as well. So, So that's kind of our, our goals for this class, and I think we definitely complete our goals. All right. So let's do it one more time, and then that'll finish up for us, okay?
All right, so I'm gonna hit save. And actually have some other uh, the points to make too. So if you wanna go beyond this, you could actually just go to the main screen and then you can actually do a search for turkey. And there's a whole bunch of little fun projects on here. Turkey Tower Defense, all kinds of stuff that other people have come up with. So lots of fun, silly things out there. So if you want to check that out. Okay. Cool part about any of these projects, you can actually click and see what the code is. So you can remix the, the project as well. So there you go. And our handout has some other, th as the actual turkey feather catch game on there. We'll be doing those classes again soon. So come join me for that. So this afternoon, our class is going to be our internet shopping and digital couponing. We're going to be talking about um, Black Friday sales, getting great uh, Black Friday deals, finding them, uh, finding coupons and all kinds of stuff. So there's a place that we can go and see all the different sales papers and deals and stuff coming up to on uh, Amazon and, and eBay and places like that. Also talk about how you, you can uh, save money using the, the coupon apps and stuff. So we'll kind of be talking about that. And going to restaurants and stuff using the apps for that. Places like Chick-fil-A, um, uh, uh, McDonald's and stuff. They're always running some kind of deals or stuff on their, on their app. Tomorrow, uh, we'll actually be doing our uh, let's make a uh, turkey feather catch game so come join me for that oh i'm in the way turkey feather catch game so come and join me for that um that's going to be really fun and that's at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning and uh, tomorrow afternoon we'll be finishing up this week with our holiday gadget and gift ideas so uh ways to get uh good deals on stuff and then we'll finish up with black friday stuff and then we'll finish up with good ideas for things to get for uh, Christmas and the holidays and stuff, okay? All right, little side note, our libraries are open with limited services and hours. You can go to gchrl.org for details or call into the library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember, we're trying to do a subscribe drive, so if we can get 100 subscribers to our YouTube channel, then we can um, get our own customized YouTube address. Or search YouTube for GCHRL videos and we'll pop right up. Okay, so I'm glad that you are here with me this morning. Um, I hope you enjoyed doing our turkey uh, catch game and stuff. <laughs> so I'll see you next time. Or I'll see you this afternoon and stuff. Let's see. Oh, shoot. What's it doing? All right. <laughs> I clicked the wrong thing. Hang on. No, go away. All right. So. There we go. Third time's a charm. So thank you for joining me today. I'll see you guys this afternoon. See you next time. Stay safe. <laughs> Have a great one. Bye.